Hi, Danny. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? Nice. Relax at my home. Okay. <laughs> work today or not? No, I my next my next um I'll say shift. My next shift is Sunday at night. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we are gonna rest Saturday also all day. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's always nice. Thank all right, you. so we also have Oscar and Roberto, Carlitos coming in. Good evening, guys. It's nice to have you here. Just gonna open up everything that we need to have ready. Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm, I'm driving. Okay, Roberto, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna get everything ready here so we can start. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Oh. Fine, teacher. I'm on way to my home right now, teacher. All right, that's fine. Be careful. Thank you. Thank you, too. All right, very nice. Okay, guys, just give me a second. I'm almost done here. Today is Friday, the 27th, right? All right, so yesterday we kept on talking about this. We were talking about the vocabulary here. All right, we had mixed quality control, filter capping, labeling, and packing. All right, so those are some steps of production process, in this case for a shampoo. Um, I believe that every product would have a different steps of production process depending on what you manufacture or what you make, all right? So we're not really going to get into that, but let's go here, guys. We have this, uh, page 30, exercise one and two. It says, I will be able to describe the steps to assemble a product, assemble a product, all right? So number one, it says, have you ever visited and an, an assembly plant in your own words how is an assembly line different from a production line all right so here we have two um terms assembly line and we have production line we're going to talk about those a little later so right now we're going to go here with this number two building vocabulary all right so here we have uh, building vocabulary, go online to find out more about the key terms related to assembly line. Here, these terms or these vocabulary words are related to an assembly line, not a production line, okay? So I think it's a little bit different. Here we have conveyor belt, we have bulk production, we have manual labor, and we have machine hours. Look at the vocabulary that we have here. Do you understand all of them? Do you know what conveyor belt is? Ayer decíamos que era. What about bulk production, manual labor, and machine hours? Can you define what these things are in your own words? Do you know what a bulk production is? Does anybody know what a bulk production is? Or what does it mean, at least? <clears throat> Teacher, I, okay, a conveyor belt, uh, we talked uh, yesterday. Yes. But the other two, I don't, I don't have idea. But machine hours, machine hours is the kind of work, uh, of the machine work for create a uh, product. Okay. Because it was it was um I see I'll say more ten years ago I, I worked in a in a how say imprenta. Uh, in a printing shop. 
in a printing shop, yes, in a printing shop, in where the where the customer needs uh a, a, a work, uh yes, a work. Uh, we pre prepare a uh, how say cotization. A quote. Yeah. A quote, yes, and we uh, we need um uh, the cost of the papers, the cost of our who the people who the of, of the main operation of the of the machine. Okay. And the and the machine hours. This is part of the cost uh, of the uh, of the product. Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. Very nice. All right. What about bulk production and manual labor? Do you guys understand that? No? Any ideas? All right, this is what we're going to do. Porque como está muy temprano para irnos a los grupos y todavía la mayoría de compañeros no se han unido y vamos a esperarles. Si nos vamos ahorita a los grupos, it's going to be, it's not going to work. All right, so we're going to do this individually. Ahí donde usted está, I think, creo que la mayoría nos podemos ir a, like, a Google to find online information. Hoy si les doy permiso en Google, vayan y descubran what is the definition que les da allí of what is a conveyor belt, what is a bulk production, what is a manual labor, and what is machine hours, all right? Entonces, una vez que lo busquen, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Lo van a buscar, lo van a entender, lo van, no lo van a copiar tal cual está. Quiero que lo entiendan y que me lo pongan en sus propias palabras para cuando regresemos, nos vamos a ir a los grupos, pero cuando ya sea hora de compartir, usted me puede expresar no la definición que encontró, sino que qué es en sus propias palabras, basado en lo que encontró, ¿de acuerdo? So that's what we're going to be working on right now. So it's page 30, exercise 2, building vocabulary. Do we understand what we're going to be working on? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Son las dos. Las, las dos. Yes, teacher. Son las ocho y ocho. Eh, al ocho y veinte. Son casi doce minutos. All right. Vamos a ver si ya tenemos nuestras propias definiciones basadas en lo que encontramos en la web. All right. Let's work on that, please, right now. Y en unos cinco minutos tomo la primera asistencia.
Uh, Carlita, Vicky, for the ones that just got in, no sé quién está en el Galaxy S8. Están trabajando sus compañeros de forma individual on page 30, exercise 2. Y Soy Michelle, teacher. Lo que pasa es que no me dejaba entrar. Ah, okay, Michelle. Tengo que entrar de otra forma. Ah, ok, Michelle, no se preocupe. Si gusta, yo le cambio el nombre ahorita, oye. Bueno. All right. Um, entonces, estamos trabajando en page, two, page 30, exercise 2, buscando in the web lo que significan esas cuatro vocabularios que están ahí en el ejercicio 2. Una vez buscaron el significado, lo que quiero que hagan es explicarme en sus propias palabras, basado en lo que encontraron, what it is. Pero no quiero que me digan la definición que encontraron. I want you to read it, understand it, and then tell me in your own words. Okay? So that's what we're, we are working on. Okay? Para los que van entrando. Voy a ahorita empezar a tomar asistencia y luego de eso vamos a empezar a ver the meaning of those um, words. Okay? Let's see. We have here Abner Elif. Hi. Hi. Evening. I'm here. Thank you. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Thank you. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. All right. Kevin Esteban Mengíbar Merino. Mariano, no, sorry. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. All right. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present miss. Thank you. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Okay. Then we have. Oops. Uh, Walter Omar Casaneda Perlera. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Miss Mar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. And Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. All right, los que estaban desde el inicio, are you guys finished with the activity? No. Yes, no. No, 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 no. Yes. Daniel finished, what about Oscar and Ever? Finished? Yes, great, very good. Ever in your case? Okay, all right, very good. Vamos a dar dos minutitos más y empezamos a eh, share the answers, de acuerdo? <clears throat> Two more minutes.
All right, guys, let's see. Um, when we have the first word, we actually have the first one. It says conveyor belt. Ese lo vimos ayer. You find it in the web, all right? But what is conveyor belt for you? Not for the web, all right? What is conveyor belt? All right, let's see. Ever, can you tell me what conveyor belt is for you in your own words, Ever? Yes, it's right. I think the is the machine is the one machine when uh, they put in the the objects of the product in the in the in the manufacturer, mm -hmm. and to today's product to continue to this process in the other in the in the other option in the company for for or the steps. Okay. All right. Okay, to, to, fo to, fo to follow the steps for, for the other uh, manufacturers. All right, so in, um, Ever, si yo de verdad no supiera que es un conveyor belt, is it a machine? In, and in the context in the one uh, man, uh, 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 manufacturer is, is, an, is a machine. Okay. All right, okay, okay, I understand, thank you. Let's see, Oscar. Tell me more about conveyor belt. Aquí imaginémonos que yo de verdad no sé. And you tell me, you're explaining to me. Uh -huh. Okay, the conveyor belt is a belt to carry the product for the station to a station according to the production process. Okay, okay, from a, from a state, okay. From, is the uh, carries from stations. Okay, all right, okay, that's good. Very nice, I like that one. Very good, let's see. Daniel, what do you have for a conveyor belt? Okay, teacher, it's a, I think it's a part of my team. Uh -huh. uh, this, uh, this part is using to move uh, the products to, to one place to another place. Okay, from one place so from, to from one place, from one place to another. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Interesting. Thank you. All right. I think now I have an idea what a conveyor belt is. Then we have bulk production. Debbie, igual Debbie. Imaginémonos que yo no tengo idea. What is bulk production? ¿Cómo me lo explica usted? ¿Cuál teacher, perdón? Bulk production. La primera. No, la segunda. Bulk production. Ah. Espérenme. Ay, no, yo las hice así. Ah, <ríe> esa no, no la he hecho. Esa no la he hecho. Ajá, precisamente esa no la he hecho. That's okay, no se preocupe. A ver, Domingo, what is bulk production? Bulk production. Teacher. Yes, bulk production, yes. Uh, is a, the manufacturer is a product. The 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 product that um, the use and the product and the, the production or manufacture uh, uh, materials or materials materials materials. The the manufacturers is. The material is the material. The manufacturers in a, in a, in in the in the production and in, in, in industry. One industry is is as a product as a, a materials as a process of them. No sé, algo así. All right. Okay. That's fine. Um, están con la cámara para no sé quién puede participar. No sé si Trini, Abner, Mariano. No? All right, maybe not. Okay, Carla Vanessa, what is bulk production for you? Okay, bulk production is a, a large quantity okay. of the things that we produce in a factory or uh, there in in my case, in our factory, we have sample that is Puta the development of the, the, the item. And then we have both production that is the 
is the big part that we produce. Okay. So yeah, all right. So you said that like a big quantity, yes, of, of, of the product. In this case, in your case, it's like shirts or whatever you guys manufacture. Okay, I get it. Thank you. Anybody else? What is bulk production? Any other definition? Como lo podamos entender y como lo podamos explicar. What is bulk production? Yes, Evan. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's a short answer. Is the process when uh, a product is manufactured for individual form and the industrial form. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay. Very nice. Then we have the other one. Eh, los compañeros que tienen la cámara apagada, no sé si... No les pregunto porque no sé si están available. Si están, levánteme la manita para, para incluirlos, obviamente. All right? Yo sé que muchos van de camino todavía o están en el trabajo. That's okay. A ver, what about manual labor? What is manual labor? ¿Quién me ayuda con esa definición? Manual labor. Debbie, I don't know if you have that one. I think it is the way in which the cost and production time okay. are calculated. Ah, ah, okay, could be. All right, what about Oscar? What do you have for manual labor? Manual labor, uh, I think it's a work you had with the hand. Okay. All right, so it's a little bit different Davis definition. Okay, interesting, thank you. Anybody else, what is manual labor? Uh -huh, Dani? I think Mami, it's, it's a, a, I think it's a work um, done mm -hmm. um, by people, mm -hmm. by person, by the human. Yes. Yes. It's, okay. uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that's a, it's a job done by humans. It's a, it's a job done by humans, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, anybody else? Carlita, Vanessa, Domingo, or Ever? I don't know if you want to participate. As Daniel said, it's a job doing by human, uh, and it could be physical or mental work. Oh, all right, interesting. So you are, you are adding up to that definition, okay. Ever and Domingo, I don't know if you want to add up to that definition. The, the, robo, the manual logo is a, is a work in the personal. Okay. All right. Yes. Interesting. Let's see. What about Ever? Do you have anything, Ever? Oh, it's something similar. Uh, is when they are all the tasks uh, designate in the manufacturer was uh, did with their own hands. I don't know. Okay, all right, okay, interesting, very good. All right, do you, um, I guess everybody's Oscar, Danis, Carla, Vanessa, Ever, and Domingo. The definition is very similar, the one that is a little bit different is Debbie's but it's not wrong, all right? That's another way to define manual labor. All right, what about the other one? The last one we have machine hours. Yes, I know as decía anteriormente, eh, Dani, but what is machine hours for you? Anybody that wants to tell me machine hours? Machine hours. Mm -hmm. uh, um, 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 my company is, uh, and um, um, my machine is machine is uh, como se it is mm -hmm. uh, plop the house the time the processes uh, or tiempo de trabajo de, de uh, huh? the time uh, time the production the the work the the la this the machine is the machine. So, the time that I work on the machine is in my work. There is time of work processed. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, Domingo, right? Any Anybody else with my, um, machine hours? Anybody? 
Anybody else? Alguien más tiene the definition for machine hours in your own words? I don't have the, the machine hours. Is the time a machine worrying the production process? Oh, it's similar to, to Domingo. Okay, yes. All right, Oscar. I like that one. Very good. Anybody else? Vane, Carla Vanessa, Ever, Debbie, or Daniel? Teacher. Yes. Hi, Claudita. Machine hour, uh, production time of the machine. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Claudita. Eh, Dani or Debbie or Carla Vanessa, do you want to say anything about these definitions? This is the time to uh, the time of the machine work to create uh, one one uh, some one product. Okay. I don't I don't know. Okay. You sure. Yes. Yes. Tell me, Mariano. Uh, is the time of the machine works in the different line, and this term is important for the program maintenance of the the machine. Okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Mariano. All right. Very nice, guys. So those are like the according to the book. I'm just gonna share this again here with you guys, according to this uh, manual, these terms are key terms. Quiere decir que son como términos bien importantes. No solo son términos, sino que key terms, like very important terms, related to an assembly line, all right? Now, we already found this, and this is what I wanted you guys to do. Now, we're going to work on this, page 30, exercise three. Building vocabulary, igual que esta, building vocabulary, it's important for us to know this. All right, now, what I want you to do is as much the terms related to assembly process, processes, sorry, to their corresponding meanings. So here we have weld, screw, tighten, adjust, a screw. Puede ser que hay varias que no conozcan, and that's okay, y hoy sí nos vamos a ir a los grupos. Está el término, all right, related to the assembly process to their corresponding meaning. Entonces, igual, vamos a buscar what is a screw. Is it to move an object slightly, da, 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 or is it to attach one surface to another using a screw? So that's what we're going to work on right now, okay? So let's go to the groups. Igual, vamos a trabajar ahorita en este ejercicio, exercise three, doing the matching. All right, so let's go. Igual, los que no pueden participar en los grupos, en las salas pequeñas, it's okay. You please stay here. Vamos a ver, vamos a tener five groups. All right, let's go. Claudita no puede entrar ahorita a su grupo. Perdón, teacher. Creo que le di, ¿no? Me puede volver a agregar. Claro que sí. Bueno. Disculpe. Ok, Claudia. No me aparece, teacher. No me apareció. No. La intento mover una vez más. Si no hacemos lo que hicimos la vez pasada, se sale y vuelve bueno. a pasar. Bueno. Mire ahorita. No. Bueno, me voy a salir mejor. All right. Ok, Claudia. Gracias. Bueno.
Capisce? Allora, detto che
Leti.
Ay, Vicky, ya la veo, Vicky. <laughs> Y el poquito se deja ver Vicky, teacher. No, ya no, ya no se deja ver Vicky, ya no nos quiere. <ríe> sí, porque yo lo veo, ustedes no me ven. <ríe> Trampa. All right, guys, very good. Let's see, what do we have for number one? It says, uh, weld. What is weld? Who has that one? Well, is... To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating, so the eggs come together. Yes, all right, very good. To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating, so the edges come together. Very good. That would be um weld. What about screw? Who has a screw? Who has number two screw? Anybody? Is to attach one superfice, superfice, no, to another using a screw. No. Um, attach one surface. Esa me dijo. Uh huh. The last one. Sí, the last one. Yes. Attach one surface to another using a screw. Yes. All right. That would be that would be that one screw. What about tighten? What is that one? Uh huh. What is tighten, guys? Tighten is to turn um all hip as a creep a creep a crew. Uh -huh. Util is it is a time um it cannot be to anymore. Yes, very good. To turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned anymore. All right, very good. What about number four? Adjust. What is adjust? Anybody? To move an object slightly so that it is in the right place of, or it is fit better. Excellent, very good. Yes, to move an object slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better. Very good, thank you. And a screw, what is that? What is a screw? For me, teacher, to attach one surface to another using a screw. Ah, no. That would be screw. No. A point piece of metal with a twister part on it. Call it the tear insert of heating will hammer. Hammer. No sé cómo se dice. Hammer. MC hammer. Push and turn in order to fasten piece of metal or wood together. Yes. So, aquí la diferencia, Ever, es que el número dos que dice screw, ese es, puede ser, um, es un verbo, mientras que a screw es un sustantivo, es un nombre. All right, esa es la diferencia. Entonces, por eso tiene razón Debbie en ese caso, ¿verdad? Que a screw es a pointed piece, porque es, es una herramienta. All right, so that is a screw, okay? Entonces, screw queda como atornillar. Sí, exacto. ¿Verdad? Pero dos, ¿vale? Y a screw como un tornillo. Así es, ajá. Porque lo, lo describe, ¿verdad? Exacto, yes. Realmente lo describe. All right, very good. Yep, that's it. Thank you, okay? Ahora, ¿sabían estas palabras? Yes, no, well, the screw, tighten. And... No, teacher. No, no, no. teacher. <laughs> All right. So no, well, and tighten, si me tocó que ir a San Google. <laughs> ah, okay. Las demás sí las sabía, no, ah, Dani. Las demás sí, screw, and I'll use, um, mm -hmm. yes. Just. 
All right, okay, very good. So these are words that we may know because of the assembly line or the assembly, assembly process that we need to follow, all right? Very good. De la parte de la definición, do you have any words that you want to go over? La palabra en la primera donde dice, aquí no vamos en orden, solo en la que están allí. To move an object slightly so that it is in the right place or if it's better. Ese vocabulario de esa primera oración, ¿lo entendemos todo? Es, eh, dice el, el, la que dice es slightly. Es slightly. Ajá, Claudita, slightly. Ya, yeah. yeah, es to move an object slightly. Es mover un objeto poquito. All right, no mucho. Entonces, slightly es como hacer un movimiento bien pequeño, ¿ok? Sí. All right, very good. Luego la otra dice to turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned anymore. Tight, entendemos que es tight. Yes, no? No, teacher. Apretado. Es apretado. All right. O oh, ajustado, o sea, tan ajustado, ajustado que ya no es tan tight. Uh -huh. Excellent. Let's see, number three, to join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edges come together. No, estamos bien con esa? Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right, very good. La otra que es la más larga, a pointed piece of metal with a twisted. Part, y volvemos con el twist. ¿Se acuerda que lo vimos ayer y Domingo nos decía del mango twist? A twisted part on it called thread. Instead of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. Palabras en ese. No. Fasten, entendemos que es fasten. What is fasten? Un par, no. Eh, eh, Perdón, Nadie. Un par piezas, un par la pieza de metal y o oh, madera juntas. In order to fasten pieces. Sí, puede ser como uh, como uh, juntar, como sostener. Sí. Uh, 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 Teacher, que dice faster, le decimos cuando dicen faster, en la pieza no, que, usa, que une las páginas de cuerpo. Bueno, por eso, eso es más <risa> tener. Eso es más tener. <risa> bueno, bueno, es probable, es probable. De hecho, se deriva. Ah, right, fácil. Yeah. Ah, okay. Y usted le dice a alguien abrochar, abroches el cinturón, usted le dice fasten your seat belt. Fasten, fasten oh, your seatbelt. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Let's see. To attach one surface to another using a screw. ¿Cómo estamos con ese? No problem with that one? No problem, Tisha. Excellent. Very nice. All right. I'm going to take the second attendance of the night. It's nine o'clock. Después de eso, les voy a poner un, uh, una dirección ahí para que vayan eh, como grupo y vayan a ver algo que quiero que vean. All right. So, vamos a primero tomar la asistencia y luego les explico what we're going to do. All right. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. I'm here. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Diego Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejíbar Merino. 
Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo Viator Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Permítame de un segundo aquí. Yeah. All right, Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. And David Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Presentation. All right, guys, thank you. Okay, so, les acabo de poner ahí una dirección. Necesito que nos vayamos a esa dirección. Nos vamos a ir a los grupos, all right? Si gusta, si alguien la puede copiar y mandarla al grupo de WhatsApp. Y dentro de los grupos, quiero que lo vean, dura como tres minutos, all right? They are talking about assembly line, okay? About a car assembly line, all right? Entonces, please pay attention. La idea ahí es nada más to practice your listening. All right, eh, lo pueden compartir ahí o lo pueden ver individual, pero la idea es como like comment on it. Cuando terminen de hacer eso, just give me one second. Les voy a poner otro, otra dirección ahí. Give me a second. Y esta segunda, la primera es algo que ver. La, la otra es algo que leer. Hay una lista, van a encontrar una lista de vocabulario que se puede ocupar mucho en assembly lines. No es necesario leerla toda porque es un montón, pero sí les puede quedar como de referencia. Sin embargo, abajo, después de la lista que van a encontrar, hay un quiz. No es evaluado, obviamente, pero sí quisiera que lo tomaran para ver qué tanto entendemos del tema y qué tanto entendemos el vocabulario. All right? Avísenme, por favor, cuando hayan terminado las dos cosas. Primero es lo, lo de ver y luego lo segundo es leer un poquito. Más o menos echarle una ojeada al vocabulario y luego hacer el quiz que está allí en línea. All right? Entonces nos vamos. Me avisan cuando hayan terminado, please. Igual los que no puedan participar se quedan por acá. Let's go. Oscar no le salió la sala. <risa> All right, no sé si gusta que lo, lo intente mover a otra sala, Oscar. Leti, en su caso, no sé si puede participar ya o todavía no. Oscarito, usted me indica, no sé si no le sirve el micrófono o le pasó algo con la inter. Si gusta, me escribe por ahí. Me...
Como que sí. Teacher. Hi, Carla. Hi, Ever. Ever. I can hear Teacher. Ever. Ah, hoy sí lo oigo. <risa> Se me había Ahora quedado sí. mudo por allá en el break room. Ah, ok. Pero ya estuvo, ¿verdad? Ya, ya. Ahorita sí.
Walter. Hi, Walter. Hi, teacher. Walter, no hace, uh, good evening. Good evening. No hace mucho se fueron a los grupos. Lo voy a mandar. Están viendo, eh, les di unas dos enlaces. Entonces están trabajando en eso. Uno era nada más de verlo y el otro es leerlo, la, la teoría y luego hacer un quiz que está ahí. Okay, I'm joining. Yeah, I will join you in a group right now. I will send you to a group right now. Hold on. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, Walter.
Ajá, Dani. So what happened? 70%. Pero lo mejor es, teacher, me la memoricé y saqué el 90. <risa> Hombre, lo más que <risa> No, <Ay>. pero sí. <risa> All right. <risa> me la memoricé. Tramposo me va a decir la teacher. <risa> Cheater. All right. ¿Cómo les fue en el quiz? ¿Cuánto sacaron más o menos? Depende cuántas veces lo hayan hecho, teacher. <risa> ten to ten, teacher. Excelente, bien. La primera, Debita. Casi. Mentira, nueve de diez. Ah, verdad. Ya decía yo. Okay, no, hicimos, hicimos diez de diez. Diez de diez. Diez oportunidades. Diez repeticiones. Yo, yo sí me equivoqué en la última. Yeah. Yo sí me equivoqué. Pero diez repeticiones. Ah, ya. Yeah. Se lo vamos a compartir para que nos crea. Exacto. Oh, Ahorita. Se lo voy a compartir para que lo vea, Ticha. ¿Y a la primera, Abner? ¿Did you get 10? A las primeras 10 lo hicimos. Pero lo hice. <risa> Nada que ahí me, me escribiendo en papel. La respuesta. <risa> <risa> no, no, nosotros. Ok, dale. Uh, un papelito. All right, so did you watch the video? Yeah. All right. Yes, very, very interesting. Yes. Very interesting. So what was the video about? It's about the... The history of... The fabrication of about cars. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Which cars? Uh, model the four cars. Four. 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 Yes. four model. Four. Model T. Oh my goodness, very good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And they mentioned how many years ago? More than 100 years. Yeah, all right. So 100 and more. So the assembly line who, has been. Who's talking, who's talking is the some, I'll say, some. Ay, se me olvidó como, como dice mi nieto. Ah, el que estaba hablando. Yes, yes. Era el, great, uh -huh. el great grandson. Era el bisnieto. Ah, bisnieto, uh, the, the uh -huh. Henry Ford. Yes, it was the great uh -huh. grandson. All right, so I guess the, the business is still runs in the family. All right, so it's a family business. All right, and they, of course, they still manufacture cars. But we know that Ford is one of the, the inventors, let's say, or the... Uh, innovators of the assembly line all right so that's i think the video was interesting all right very good now we're going to continue with this guys let's go back to uh the book page acabamos de terminar esta aquí luego vimos esto que estaba acá abajo de su libro all right now here page 31 exercise four esto sigue siendo lo mismo del how to use indirect questions Information questions. Acá el manual lo había dividido en yes, no questions and information questions. Pero en toda esta semana hemos visto el tema de las dos tipos de pregunta. All right. So, vamos a leer esto nada más because we have to. Y luego nos vamos a quedar haciendo ejercicios to practice. Okay. So, let's see here. Mariano, indirect information questions are not introduced by if. Instead, they are introduced with a WH word, ¿ok? Esa es la gran, ya va, ya va a leer Mariano, esa es la gran diferencia entre las yes, no questions y las information questions. Yes, no questions, they begin with if, I mean, no que empiecen, pero llevan el if o el weather. Information questions ya no llevan el if o no llevan el weather, llevan cualquier otra WH word. What, where, when, how, who. It depends what you're going to ask. All right. So, Mariano, can you read la primera donde dice 1A, 1B, 2A y 2B, Mariano? I wonder. Okay, teacher. I wonder what the two pieces I need to well are. Compare it to. What are the two pieces I need to well? Excellent. All right. Mm -hmm. I would like to know when the provider will send the order of a screw okay. screws compare it to when while 
when will the provider send the order of a screws? Yes, very good. Entonces aquí estamos comparando las que están en la A, 1A, 1A and 2A. They are indirect questions. I wonder, all right? I wonder what the two pieces I need to weld are. Or I like to know when the provider will send the order of the screws. Obviamente abajo tenemos la forma directa. Por ejemplo, what are the two pieces I need to weld? All right. Or the other one, when will the provider send the order of the screws? Acuérdese que, que usted haga la pregunta de forma directa no quiere decir que esté mala. All right. La diferencia es la forma, si una es más amable que la otra. All right. Y con quien obviamente usted está hablando. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Walter, can you read the other examples? Thank you, Mariano. Walter, can you read 1A and 1B, 2A and 2B? Would you mind? Walter, no está por ahí. All right, maybe not. All right. Claudita, está por ahí, Claudita? Do you want to read? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Go ahead, Claudia. Would you mind telling us how much the provider charges to process the order? Compare it to how, more, how much does the provider charge, charge to process the order? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, continue? Yes, please, Claudia. Uh, would, would you let me know what time the first bus is expected to be complete Com compare it complete. to, to be complete. Complete, complete what time is the first but expected to be complete excellent all right very nice so here again we have other examples si se fija acá estamos jugando con i wonder i'd like to know would you mind telling us would you let me know all right Y ya en ninguno de esos ejemplos estamos usando el if because they are information questions. On the first one, we're using what. On the second one, we're using when. On the one A, how much. And to A, what time. All right. Entonces estamos jugando con las WH questions. ¿Por qué? Porque son, a pesar que son indirect questions, son information questions. Ya no son yes or no. Eh, como recordatorio, reminder, helping verbs like do, does, and did are not included in the indirect questions. Acuérdense que se omiten. Eh, if the introductory segment is a phrase, use a period at the end of the indirect question. If, it's a if the phrase is a question, use a question mark. En la 1A y en la 2A, Donde dice, I wonder and I, I would like to know. Esas son frases, no son preguntas. Entonces, no llevamos signo de pregunta. En la otra 1A and 2A, they start with, would you mind telling us? Or would you let me know? Esas sí son preguntas. Entonces, por lo tanto, ponemos signo de pregunta at the end. All right. Vuelvo y repito, es lo mismo que hemos estado viendo. Tanto las um, yes, no questions or information questions sobre indirect questions at the end, okay? Voy a dejar de compartir acá. Lo vamos a hacer, lo prefieren hacer, hacer individual o en grupo? Individually or in group? Individually. Group teacher. <laughs> Nadie dice <laughs> in groups and Nadie dice individually. All right, so, a ver, what about the rest of you guys? ¿Cómo prefieren hacerlo? Does it matter? All right, vamos a ver entonces. Vamos a empezar haciéndolo individual, Debbie. All right, y luego vamos a ver si nos pasamos al group. All right, veamos entonces. Solo déjeme here. Ok, tenemos esas. Aquí hay 10. Obviamente tengo más. All right, lo voy a compartir. Uy, yes, Lo pueden ver. Yes. No, teacher. Qué barbaridad. Bueno, está cargando, está, está cargando, cargando. Está cargando. It's loading. Okay. Sí, la vemos. Sí, ya. Hoy sí. Sí. All right. Sí, Ay, pero no me ven la primera. Ay, qué barbaridad. Son 10. Oh, 
Solo una, ajá. Ahí. ¿Logran sí. ver las 10? ¿Yes? Sí. A ver, entonces vamos a ir en... Obviamente lo van a hacer, todos tienen que hacer las 10, pero vamos a ir en orden. Number one is Danny, number two is Debbie, que me va a dar la respuesta. Number three is Domingo, number Ay. four is Mariano, Claudita, you're number five. Eh, Oscar, you're number six. Ever, you're number seven. Vicky, you're number eight. Carla, Vanessa, you are number nine. Walter, no sé si puede participar. Sería el number ten. Si Walter no puede participar, no sé si puede, Jorgito. Ninguno creo. All right. No sé si Leti. Yes, teacher. Excelente. Entonces, Leti, usted se va con la 10. Obviamente las tienen que hacer todas, pero quien me va a dar la respuesta de la 1, por ejemplo, es Daniel. All right. Todavía no. Eh, les voy a dar un ratito para que logren avanzar y luego les empiezo a preguntar por individually. Ok. Acuérdese que tiene que revisar el tiempo verbal. Tiene que revisar si es... Yes, no, question or information, question. Tienen que poner atención en todos esos detalles, ¿ok? Teacher, una pregunta, la tenemos que pasar a... Indirect. A indirect. Ah, ok, ok. Allí no le estoy dando yo la, la parte introductoria, Debbie. Ahí tiene que ponerla toda usted. Usted puede poner, do you know, would you tell me, would you mind telling me, la que usted quiera. All right, y luego después del okay. introductory phrase, usted sabe que ya empezamos con la segunda parte, que sería if o whether, o why, o where, o when, y lo demás, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Everybody finished or not yet? En tres minutos empezamos a revisar, Daniel. Entonces se pone listo ahí with number one, Daniel, ¿ok? Ok, teacher.
All right, Daniel, let's start. Okay, so Danny, the okay, doctor, teacher. Uh -huh, number one, did she go out last night? Okay, um, first is a uh, question, yes, no question. Okay, yes. Okay, uh, I, I, I write. Uh, can you tell me if she go out last night? Can you tell me if she go out last night? I see, Danny. Yes, teacher. Can you tell me if she go out last night? A ver, eh, es la primera, digamos el primer paso, usted me dijo es una yes, no question, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y el segundo paso es ver el tiempo verbal. ¿Qué tiempo verbal estamos usando, Dani? Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, entonces. Uh -huh. If she is, if she goes. Pasado de go, Daniel. Well. Excellent. Ok. Can you tell me if you went out last night? All right, porque tenemos did she go out last night? Ok. Mm -hmm. Ahora, okay. para la, lo importante acá para todos y todas es de acá para allá. All right, porque la introductory part puede ser, can you tell me, would you mind telling me, do you know, la que usted haya querido poner. Pero del if para allá tiene que quedarle así. Puede usar if o puede usar whether. Porque es como dijo Daniel, es una yes, no question. Ok, la tenemos bien hasta ahí, todas, todos, yes, no, so, so. Yes, no. No, alguien que me diga no. O todas está bien con esa. Ok, all right, esperemos que estén bien. All right, number two. A ver, Debbie era usted. O domingo, ¿quién hace la dos? Yo, teacher. Ajá, Debbie. Ay, yo no sé, teacher, pero vaya, yo puse. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Do you know where she met her brother is? Do you know where she met uh -huh. luego? her brother ¿Y luego? is? Es que la verdad es que no entiendo. Where did she meet, meet her brother? ¿Y cómo es que conoció a su hermano? O sea, ¿cuándo? Que no conoce a tu hermano de chiquito. ¿Cómo? No sé, esa pregunta está fea. Lo que pasa es que... No, Mit, ¿qué me reunir, teacher? Ese, a ese... reunión. ¿Ah? Ajá, depende ah, del contexto, ¿verdad? Mit es reunir, creo. Sí, sí, así es. Sí, Debbie, porque si no, es lo que se dice. Es chiquito, ¿eh? Tú, Debbie, no lleve a Liz en ningún momento. ¿no? En ningún momento, ok, ok, ok. So, do you know where she met her brother? ¿Dónde se reunieron? ¿Dónde se encontraron? ¿Verdad? No es que se conocen en ese momento. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Debbie. Excellent. Igual, eh, el do you know, no se preocupe si usted puso otra cosa como introductoria. Ese no hay problema. Pero de where para allá tiene que quedarle así, con incluido signo. All right, porque la, si usted puso una introductory part, que es una pregunta, entonces tiene que poner sí. Yes, all right, very good. Domingo, thank you, uh, David. Number three, Domingo. Dice, mm -hmm. would you tell me how were the film? Film, would you tell me? Uh -huh. Would you tell me? Would you tell me how? How uh, were the film? Seguro. También cambié el what, el what de por por where ¿Por o qué? era what. ¿Por qué lo? Solo queda what. Sí, pero no en esa no. posición. Okay. Este era what film the film. Ajá. Would you tell me how the film was? Was was the film. No, al revés, the film was. The film was, ah, ok. Exacto. Al revés era. Sí, porque Uy. acuérdese que tiene que quedarle como que fuera una oración. Mm, okay. 
All right, very good. Who was number four? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Mariano, you have number four? Yes. Okay, was David the first to arrive? Uh, okay, do you know if David the first to arrive? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you know? If David the first to arrive? A ver, eh, uy, no se me. A ver, eh, Mariano, seguro, como que se llama Mariano José. Eh, es que no sé si sería if David was teacher. Ay, ja, no. Do you, ya voy, Walter. Pero, espérame. Do you know if David was the first to arrive? If David was the first to arrive. David was the first to arrive. Okay. Do you know if David was the first to arrive? Si le quitamos lo primero. Decimos, David was the first to arrive. Pareciera una oración. All right. Walter, ¿cómo la tiene usted? Oh, no. I, I, oh, I would to know if David arrived first. Sí. O sea, lo mantuvo en pasado. Solo que le quito el to be, ¿verdad? Yes. All right. Yeah, could be. Uh -huh. That's fine. That could be another possibility, Walter. That's okay. All right. Okay. Eh, la cinco. Did Lucy work at home yesterday? ¿Quién hace la cinco? Me, okay. teacher. Okay. Did Lucy work at home yesterday? Uh -huh. Can you tell me if Lucy worked yesterday at home? No sé, work. Okay, can you tell me if Lucy worked? Ahí déjela igual, at home yesterday. At home yesterday, okay. Can you tell me if Lucy worked? Muy bien, at home, ya está bien, está bien, está perfecta, Claudita. Okay. Yes, nice, all right. Solo la pronunciación, Claudia, es worked. Como que fuera work, work. Excellent, Claudia. Very nice. Who's doing number? Thank you. Who's doing number six? Teacher. Okay. What was the problem? Can you tell me is what the problem was? Excellent. Very nice, Oscar. Thank you. Can you tell me what the problem was? Uh-huh. Excellent, very good. Who's doing number seven? Hey, teacher. David. Okay, would you let me know who we saw at the party? Would you let me know who? We saw uh -huh. at the party. Excellent, very nice, Eve. Super. All right, very nice. Let's see who's doing number eight. Me, teacher. Okay, Vicky. Do you know if Zach called his name yesterday? Do you know if Zach called eh, con ED or sin ED? Oh, ED. Excellent. Do you know if Zach called his mom yesterday? Very good, Vicky. Excellent. Who's doing mm -hmm. number nine? Number nine? I think it's, it's me. <clears throat> uh, could you tell me if they were at the beach? Good. You tell me if they were at the beach. Yep, nice. Could you tell me if they were at the beach? Very good. Excellent, very nice. Who's doing number 10? Where was the class? Meeting. Go ahead, Letty. 
Could you tell me where the class was? Excellent. Could you tell me where the class was? Very good. Oops. Excellent. Very nice. All right. Y terminamos right on time, guys. Very good. Ahora, como pregunta general, do you guys feel better now with this indirect question? Lo vamos entendiendo mejor. Nos va teniendo más sentido ahora. Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay, Mariano, very good. Para los demás y las demás, how do you guys feel with indirect questions? So, so. So, so. All right, Walter, yes. Anybody else? Ahí yes, teacher. Ahí yeah. vamos, teacher. <laughs> ratitos a pie, ratitos caminando. <laughs> All right, ahí lo que tenemos que fijarnos o recordar más bien es, usted le puede poner cualquier, cualquier frase introductoria all right, could you tell me, I would like to know, I wonder, do you know, cualquiera de esas. Luego, usted tiene que fijarse qué tiempo verbal está esa pregunta. All right, si está en pasado, pues quítele el auxiliar y ponga el verbo en pasado. La segunda parte des, eh, le tiene que quedar como que si fuese una oración afirmativa. Ok. Sujeto, verbo. Ya, ajá. All right, ajá, ya no es verbo. ¿verdad? Sino que sujeto verbo, Domingo. Excelente. All right. Entonces, con eso nos vamos a quedar ahorita. Voy a tomar la última asistencia. So you guys can go rest. Y nos vemos Monday. All right. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. I'm here. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Pico Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Tandrae Montano. Good night, teacher. Present. Yes, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. José Roberto Martínez Verde. Present. Thank you. Present, Present Carla, teacher. Carla Benacid Lara González. Eh, Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present, teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino, Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Anulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Thank you, Vanesita. All right, uh, Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. And David Jasmine Giron Ramirez. All right, guys. Present. Nos vamos a ir eh, solo igual a de la sigan adelantando con la unidad 3. All right, para que ya la vayamos terminando. Acuérdense que nos falta esta semana y la otra que no es completa pero eh, estamos todavía, all right? pero ya casi vamos terminando. All right? Acuérdense que son para los intermedios son cinco semanas. All right, so guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. Bye now. Good night, teacher. Bye, Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.